Because when you are dealing with strife, God will send a word only to you. Yes, he will. Hallelujah. And regardless of how much is going on in the world, regardless of what's going on in the church, God's got you picked out in the midst Amen. of everything else. Amen. And what he's going to release, he's going to release it only to you because you're the one that is ready for it. Only you. My God. Go back to do you wrong me right there. Go back to do you wrong me in chapter 15 and verse number 5. Let's go back to see if do you wrong me got anything to say about this. My God. Are you with me? Go back to do you wrong me in, in chapter 15 and verse number 5. Do you wrong me in chapter 15 and verse number 5. I'm telling you only you. Only, only you come through what you came through. And when you look at it, you said you couldn't make it. But God said, I couldn't allow this to happen to nobody else but you. Amen. Come on, are you with me? You begin to question God, why is all of this on me? Why is all of this on me? God said, I've got a sign before you. Come on here. That that woman, that woman of Zareth had went through so much. And begin to question God, why is all of this? Elijah, you want to take everything from him? We're going to die? No, God said, I've got greater things for you. Only you, women, there are many widows here, but only you, if you listen to the prophet, you and your family will never go under again. Thank you, Lord God. Glory. That's a word for somebody. Come Amen. on here. If you listen to the word of God, and today take it personal, only me, come on here. What we went through before, we'll never go through it again. That's a word from the Lord. Come on here. What made you cry before, you will laugh at it now. Come on here. What made you stay in your house before? You get dressed and come out now. Never again. This will hold me back. Never again. This will stop my praise. Never again. This will stop me from preaching. Never again. This will stop me from praising God. Hallelujah. My God. Only you, my God. What did I say, Lord? My God. Deuteronomy 15 and 5. Look at you. Do you wrong me 15 and 5. Watch this right here. If only you obey. If who? If only you. Come on, my God. Come on. Come on here. Come on. The problem we have in the church, we wipe with everybody else. Right. Uh-huh. Come on. We wipe with everybody else. Come on. We wipe with when they're going to do it and why they don't do it. But, but here the prophet said, if, come on, if only, come on, come on, if only you, if only you would change, I believe our family would change. Yes, yes. My God, my God. Here. I believe if only you change. Our family will change. Yeah. I believe if only you live right, that son will get saved. Come on here. That's why I decree my sons. Come on. I decree them all being saved. Come on. I'm filled with the Holy Ghost. Because there's a spirit of release that's coming from the Father. That's coming from the prophet. That's coming from the men of God. It's going to release unto my sons. Not only naturally, but also spiritually. I release that anointing to my sons and my daughter. You will never go under. Yes, Only you will be above. Only yes, you will yes, land. Lord. You will never go. Can you all hear me pretty good out there? Yes, my God, yes, my God. Lord. Can you hear me pretty good? Yes. My God, my God. Feel like this is working me. But it's only you, my God. People are going to look at it and call bless. Yes, uh, yes. Only yes. you when you get to your job. Yes. Only you when you get to your job. Yes. Come on, they're going to find favor. Yes. I'm saying only you when you get to your job, they're going to find favor. And don't you start fighting about this is not my assignment. That's favor on you. Because at the end of the day, when everybody else is falling apart, only you are going to be there. That's what I said. My God, it's only you. Y'all help me out a little bit here. It's only you. Tell somebody it's only me. My God, watch this. Watch this right here. Watch this right here. Where am I? Verse, verse 5. If only you if only you obey the Lord your God. Obey, come on. The Lord your God. Uh -huh. And are careful to follow every one. Whatever he says. Come on. Of these commands. Uh -huh. I am giving you today. When I'm the, doing what? I'm giving you today. What's another term for giving? Releasing. I'm releasing unto you. Come on. When? Today. Come on. Let's, let's bring it closer. Right now. Right now. Lord. Right now. Thank you, Lord. See, the day can go to sometime 12 o'clock tonight. Yes, no, no, no. I don't want to wait that long. <laughs> Come on, I'm releasing this to you. Come on, right now. Right now, people got your name on the table. <laughs> right now, people are thinking about you. Say, how am I going to give them a 
a promotion? How am I going to bless him? How am I going to give him this job? Nobody else. Only. Oh my God. I, can I just talk slow? My God, I want to talk slow. I believe that when some of y'all go back to your job next week, tomorrow, tomorrow is Monday, is that right? Yes, I believe is. when you go back to your job tomorrow, your, your, your superior being on your job, where they are now, they are trouble. I believe they're going to have a meeting and call you in for your promotion. Come on here. It's going to be a release to you because you've been doing the work. Come on here. You in progress. In other words, you been running the company. You just not the CEO. And they're going to realize this. And I believe that you want to get called in for your promotion. Somebody said, only me. Only me. My God. Hallelujah. We received that. God. That's a word should be for somebody right there, man. My God. Don't tell me you cannot use no more. I don't care if all your bills are paid. You still need more. Because somebody else is pulling on you. Come on here. And God wants to bless you to be a blessing to somebody else. Only you come over there. My God. That's why the other folks are not going to get it. Because they're stingy. That's right. 